Hello friends, this is Stacy, head of the reference department, coming to you from my bedroom with a laptop. And I wanted to highlight something today. It's called, let me go back, it's called Creative Bug. It is new software that we have access to. And you can get here, it, for those not familiar, you can go to oysterbaylibrary.org. That's step one, that is our homepage, our website. And once you're on there, you can scroll down and you'll probably see a promo for it in here. Right? And if not, if you, if you don't get to that, if you don't have Flash or whatever it is, um, you can always get there going to research which is where all our databases and virtual offerings live. And you would come down here into Get Creative and click. And we're back to the same place, Creative Bug. So come up here and click on the graphic and that will open the site in a new window. And you can see it'll say Oyster Bay East Norwich Public Library up top. And then if it's your first time, you will make up an account and then you'll answer the email to confirm. And then after you're done that, you can come back here to log in. So let's do that. <clears throat> oh, that's what I did. Okay, signing in. Here we go. Success! So, browse through the splash page here, um, and you will see some recent projects, all of these things grouped together, unlimited access projects. Um, it's just some recent things. You can browse through, see if anything catches your eye, or you can click see latest classes here. And that will open up a whole bunch of categories for you to browse. Daily practice, Creative Bug Live, which are special events I think that you could tune into. Yeah, in live time and you probably get to do a Q&A as well. Not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna pick something pre-recorded. So let's see. What looks good? What looks good? You know what? I, I heard they have some cooking classes, so I am going to look. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Homemade marshmallows, spritz cookies, gingerbread houses, blueberry jam. How to make pie crust. Let's see. Handmade soap. It's not really edible. So you can browse through all of these different offerings and just jump into something that catches your eye. I'm going to pick, oh, cookies. I wonder if they have any chocolate. So I'm going to come back up here to the search bar and search for chocolate. Maybe they have chocolate melting or molds or hand-rolled truffles. That looks fascinating. Oh yes, that's why. Because I've seen it. Let's see. So let's just look over this screen here, okay? You have the title of the project. And if you scroll down, You'll see all these different buttons that you can click, okay? They have a description and they'll tell you what the video is gonna cover. There's a PDF that you can print out that has instructions, ingredients, the whole thing. You can go chapter by chapter. There's a tab for materials. There's a discussion, anyone who's made it or viewed the video. 
can post comments. It's corn syrup is not a regular Australian grocery item. Would rice malt syrup or something else be a good substitute? Look at that. So you can't get corn syrup in Australia. It's fascinating. And for he this one, everything is in grams, which tells me that this is international because here we use cups and tablespoons and things, right? So all kinds of things to keep in mind. But well, let's see. Hi, my name is Mark Tilling. I've been working as a pastry chef and chocolatier for the past 25 years. I have two books on chocolate and one on macaroons. We're going to make some really nice, delicate, small truffles, making them with really good ingredients. We're going to make some dark chocolate truffles and rolling them in cocoa powder. And then we're going to make some raspberry truffles. For this method, it's all hand rolled, so you don't need a lot of equipment. This is a very basic recipe, but it's very easy to change the flavors. You can use alcohols, you can use oil flavorings, or even fresh fruit. So this looks wonderful. My mouth is watering. So there you go. You get an idea for how this works, how to log in, set up an account, browse for videos, and if I wanted to, I could add that to a watch list. This is probably the third time I've tried to watch this. And I think I stop it because um, it makes me want to ravenously eat chocolate. But you never know. I may watch it another day. And that would be stored here in my watch list. So if I click that, there's my first video, right? I can share it. Say, hey, mom, you have to see this truffle video. And I can email it to her. I could put it on my Pinterest. I could tweet it, put it on Facebook. They're just, there's so much to go through here. It is a craft of palooza. If you're a do it yourselfer, it is definitely worth checking out. It is free with your library card. If you don't have one, and if you haven't seen the digital cards, you would go to just put, put into a search browser, um, digital library card, Nassau County, and you'll find this link which is NASA Library System Digital Cards. And they came up with this as a way to help during um, the coronavirus crisis where the library, a lot of libraries down here are closed. Um, and so this is a way for people without cards to get an instant digital card that so they could take part in a lot of these online offerings. So you could fill that out, get your barcode, come back and register for these and start using some of these services. They're really lots of fun, um, crisis or not. You know, this is something that won't go on a style. They're free tutorials for all sorts of things. So there you go, Creative Bug. Find it at oysterbaylibrary.org. And enjoy. And let us know if you make anything. We'd love to see some pictures. Thanks. <laughs>